I get a lot of messages in the DMs asking, can you help me with my PCOS? As your primary care doctor, I like to focus on your metabolic health. That's why PCOS should be a multidisciplinary approach. And if you would like to get pregnant, a referral to a reproductive endocrinologist can be really, really helpful. There is a overlap with obesity and central adiposity and PCOS because of insulin resistance. If it's appropriate is weight loss. Beyond lifestyle changes and nutrition, there is medication that can help you lose weight. Losing between five to 10% of your body weight has really significant clinical outcomes, regulating your menstrual cycle, decreasing your other metabolic health risk factors, such as MASLD, d which is steatosis of the liver, your cardiovascular risk factors, such as having a heart attack later in life, also elevated blood pressure, slow down your insulin resistance from reaching diabetes, getting control of your PCOS can set you up for a healthier pregnancy, having PCOS may increase your chances of gestational diabetes and other pregnancy complications, so I'm going to turn it over to Dr. C. How can we use medications such as metformin, among others, to help us achieve weight loss to treat PCOS? Thank you, Dr. K. This is an excellent question. So metformin is one of those medications that we commonly use for our PCOS patients because not only helps to restore ovulation, it also has a modest weight loss efficacy. There are other good medications that we could use for weight loss in the context of PCOS. Those are our GLP-1 hormones. Unfortunately, this is not always covered by insurance, but we have other options. Topiramid being one of those options. In fact, there is a study that added topiramid to metformin for weight loss in patients with PCOS. This was a small clinical trial that included a total of 61 women with PCOS and overweight or obesity between the ages of 18 and 40. And they were randomized into two groups, one group with metformin plus placebo and the other group with metformin plus topiramate. And they found that after six months, patients were able to lose 4.5% of their body weight in the topiramid group versus 1.4% in the placebo group. And those women that also lost more than 3% of their body weight within the six months, they were also experienced improvement in their hirsutism. So if you are not a candidate for GLP-1 medications or your insurance doesn't cover for GLP-1 medications, this combination of metformin plus topiramate seems to be safe but also an affordable option that you could discuss with your doctor. 